Welcome to the magical world of science. Today, we're going to explore the mysterious journey of water called the water cycle. I'm Miss Ray, and I'm thrilled to be joined by a very curious scientist in the making, Kyra. Have you ever wondered if water can conduct electricity? Hmm, I think it might, but I'm not sure how. Great thinking. Let's dive into it. First, what do you think happens when we put salt into water and stir it? The salt disappears. It dissolves, right? Exactly. The salt dissolves in the water, making it salty. Now how do you think we can test if this salty water conducts electricity? Maybe we can use a light bulb and see if it lights up. That's a brilliant idea. We can set up a simple circuit with a light bulb. If the bulb lights up, it means the water conducts electricity. Let's try it with pure water first. What do you predict will happen? I think the bulb won't light up because pure water doesn't have anything in it. Let's see. We dip the wires into the distilled water, and you're right, the bulb doesn't light up. Now let's add some salt and try again. What do you predict now? I think the bulb will light up because the salt might help the electricity flow. Let's test it. And look, the bulb lights up. That means the salty water conducts electricity. Why do you think that happens? Maybe the salt helps the electricity move through the water? Exactly. The salt breaks into tiny parts called ions, which help carry the electricity. Now, do you think our bodies would be good conductors of electricity? Hmm, maybe, because we have water in us too. You're spot on. Our bodies have water with salts making us good conductors. That's why we should never touch bare wires. Can you think of a situation where this might be dangerous? Oh, like swimming in the sea during a thunderstorm? Yes, that's very dangerous because lightning can strike the water, and since the sea is salty, it can conduct electricity. So it's always best to stay safe indoors during storms. Now, can you summarize what we've learned today? We learned that pure water doesn't conduct electricity, but salty water does because of the ions, and our bodies can conduct electricity too so we should be careful around it. Fantastic summary. Thank you for joining the magical world of science. Keep being curious, and remember, there's always more to discover in science.